Hello and welcome to this After Effects Certification Preparation series of videos. I'm Luisa Winters. In this video, I want to discuss Objective 2.3b, which is to use markers. We have timeline markers and we have clip markers. So we're going to learn how to add and how to use both of them. So let's get to it. And we still have the track matte composition open. Uh, just a little trick here. If I want to reset the size of the work area so that it is as long as the composition is, all I have to do is double click it and there it is. Now it's as long as the composition is. And I can also zoom uh, in a little bit here and center it like yay with the hand tool. And remember the hand tool is pressing and holding the space bar. So let's talk about timeline markers. So see to the right of the work area bar, there is this little icon thing. I can click and drag here and I can just drag markers like that. So I can drag this marker here, I can drag another one, and this marker is clearly not on the layer, it's on the composition, and I can even double click it and I can change its name and its duration. So imagine I wanna send a message to either myself or somebody else who's working on this, and I want to just write something in here, like color correct, this area, right? And I need to learn how to type this area, right? And I'm gonna change the duration to three seconds. So three, zero, zero. This marker itself, it's not just one frame, it has a duration. And I can double click it to edit it again. And I can change the label to say red. And see how now it looks red? And then I can have some kind of uh, um, already preset label color with me and my colleagues where red means color correct, uh, yellow means um, keyframe, uh, blue means something else or whatever it is. So these are very useful to put in the sequence. So if I wanna add a marker to the layer, I can go to layer, markers and I can add a marker to the layer directly. See how it comes right in here? And I can go to a different point in time and I can add another one. But notice the shortcut is the number pad asterisk key. All right? So uh, I don't have a numeric keypad on this keyboard, so, uh, but it doesn't matter. If I really needed to add a lot of these markers, you know how to change the keyboard shortcuts, right? So in here, you would just type in the word marker. And instead of add layer marker being on the numeric keypad, right? We would change it onto just shift A, which is the asterisk key on the main keyboard. So now that I've changed that, there is the layer marker, there is the layer marker again. And I can double click these markers and I can change duration as well. And I can write comments and I can change the label. So this duration, I want it to be three seconds. And I want to say something like replace this layer here, anything like that. And then I can go to brown and there it is. All right. So using markers becomes an important workflow in, in After Effects. And this brings me to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.